Hello and welcome to your Pilates workout. My name is Annabelle. Um, so for today, if you've got something like a block um, or you could have a towel and you could roll up your towel, um, just a little bath towel or a tea towel, something that you can make into a little tube um, or a block or if you've got like a Pilates ball, um, you could also use a Pilates ball for your class today. So we're going to start laying down please. So come over to your space. You can just move your prop over to one side. And then we're going to start laying down on our back. We're going to take a few spinal rolls or bridge rolls. So place the hands down by the sides of the body, soles of the feet parallel, hip width distance apart. Just before we begin, I'll get you to take a nice big breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And then again, inhale through the nose. And as you breathe out through the mouth, think of the roots pulling to the hips and the two hip points here drawing in towards one another. So breath in, expand. Exhale, ribs to hips and two frontal hip points draw together to activate through the lower belly. Let's keep that engaged as you take a breath in, start to peel the spine and the hips all the way up, up off the floor, hold at the top, big breath out. Take an inhale, and then one vertebra at a time, exhale, peel your spine all the way back down, pelvis is the last thing to touch the floor. Inhale to roll up, let's keep moving, exhale, peel one vertebra at a time, feel upper back, middle back, lower back, and pelvis touch the floor. Let's do two more, inhale to roll up, ground through the feet, feel the glutes wrap under, and then exhale, feel the belly scoop towards the back of the spine as you peel all the way down. Last one, let's hold at the top. So inhale to roll up. Pause here on the breath out. Think ribs to hips, two frontal hip points drawing in towards one another like a belt here at the front of your core. I'll get you to pause here, plug down through the back of the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades onto your back. Press soles of the feet firmly into the floor and then pull your fingertips towards your heels and drag your heels towards your fingertips. So we really engage through the glute and the hamstring here. Take a nice deep breath in. Hold and again think ribs to hips connection, knit through the front of your core. Okay, we're going to lift the right leg all the way up to float and then place the right foot back down. Lift the left knee up to float and then place the left foot down. So keep marching from right to left. What I want you to feel is minimal movement through the pelvis as you change from foot to foot. So you might even place your hands on the front of the rib cage and feel the rib to hip connection is drawing in like a belt at the front of the body. Or you might use the hands just to stabilize the pelvis as you glide here, one knee and foot lifting at a time. Good, keep your breath smooth. You might exhale to lift and inhale to lower. Exhale, lift and inhale to lower. Good, let's do five, four, three, two, and we're going to add on one, lower left foot, reach the right foot back up and extend the leg towards the sky. So we open through the back of the hamstring. We're now going to lift the hips up a little higher, breath in, and then roll your spine all the way down to the floor and lower the pelvis to the mat. Inhale, peel the spine back up, roll up. Same side, exhale, peel the spine back down. So we're isolating now through this left glute and hamstring. We roll up and then we exhale, we roll down. Good, try to feel that segmentation of the spine. So one vertebra at a time is peeling up and peeling down. Good, let's do a couple more on this side. Keeping the ribs quiet at the front of the body. Hands can help guide the hips or reach the fingertips down towards the left foot. So 
shoulder blades slide down the back. Last one, let's stay up at the top. And then you're going to lower a little bit, lift and pulse. Lower, lift and pulse. Good. Let's go. Four, ten, nine, eight. Use your left glute. Seven, six. Point the right toes. Four, three, two, one. Hold at the top. Place the right foot to the floor. Anchor through both the feet. Squeeze the glutes. Take a breath in. And then exhale, roll the spine all the way down to the floor. We come straight back up. Inhale. Pause and hold at the top. Reach your left knee float and kick left leg towards the ceiling. Hopefully you get a nice big stretch here. Okay, roll down through your spine, one vertebra at a time. And then peel all the way back up. Good, so feel like we did at the beginning of the class. This movement happening through each vertebra. So you peel down, you feel the belly scoop towards the back of the body to find that core control to lift you up and lower you down. So you're getting a little traction through your spine. Great, let's do a couple more here. Drive through the right foot. Feel the right glute at the top. Wrap the right butt cheek under. Awesome. Let's go last one. Lift it up. Pause here at the top. Feel glute wrap and firm and then a little lower, little lift. So I don't want you to drop all the way to the floor. I want you to just lower the pelvis, squeeze to lift. Lower the pelvis, squeeze to lift. You can point or flex your left foot. Doesn't matter. Good. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Right side here on fire. <laughs> Let's go four, five, four, three, two, one, hold, place left foot to the floor, squeeze both the glutes, lift the hips, take a breath in, and then peel your spine all the way down towards the floor. Last one, soles of the feet together, knees in a diamond shape. So you're on the blade edges of your feet, Clap the feet together here so you feel the inner thigh switch on. Arms reach down, take a breath in. Exhale, roll up to bridge. Good, we're gonna lift and lower the hips. So tap the pelvis this time and then squeeze right up. Tap the hips, squeeze all the way up. So we're getting that full extension at the front of the hip. Using our glutes here to lift and lower. Same time, feet press into one another. So inner thighs are starting to work a little bit here. We're just waking them up for later. <laughs> nice, let's go for 10, a little quicker. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold at the top, take a big breath in, and then roll down through your spine. Well done. Bring the soles of the feet to the floor. Hug your knees into your belly and just wriggle across your lower back a little bit here. Lovely. Okay. From there, I'm going to come into a little ab curl series. So I'll get you to stay down on your back. Interlace the hands behind the back of the head and we'll start with the feet on the floor parallel. Take a nice big breath in again. And then curl and lift on the exhale. Think of your ribs to hips pulling together to lift up rather than pulling on the back of your neck. Return the head on the breath in and then curl and lift on the breath out. Good, keep going, inhale to lower. Exhale to curl and lift. Nice, as you do this, I like to exhale through the mouth to engage through that core, yeah? So that pursing breath out of the ribs to help fire up the core. So you can stay like this, otherwise we're gonna add on. As you curl and lift, float the right knee up and then lower the right foot down. We alternate left leg up and left foot down. Keep going, exhale and lower breath in. Exhale and lower breath in. So again, lifting from rib to hip connection rather than pulling on the head. So slightly 
tuck the chin so the back of the neck is long. Elbows wide. Nice. Last one to the left. And then we're going to add on. So you can always stay with the alternate lifts. Otherwise, right leg lifts, hold at the top. Left leg lifts. Lower right foot. Lower left foot and the hip returns. We curl up. Left foot lifts. Right foot lifts. Lower right, left, sorry, and lower right, return the head. Keep going, exhale, float right, float left. Lower right, lower left, and return. Curl up, left, right, left, right. Couple more, right, left, right, left. So we get this little marching, left, right, and left. And right, last one, curl right, curl left and hold here, yes? Yeah? Stay up at the top. We're gonna tap the right heel and lift it back up. Tap the left heel and lift it back up. So we're staying in our ab curl as we alternate single leg heel taps, yes? Yeah? So you can feel the work of the belly now to support you to lift up off the shoulder blades. Let's go for 10. Nine, keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, almost there. Four, lift a little higher. Chin in, two, last one. Good, hold at the top, reach the arms past the thighs, point the toes, and then reach up a little bit and lower. Reach further past your legs and lower. So it's like someone's pulling on your fingertips. You curl and crunch and then you lower. Let's go forward, four, ten, nine. So keep going forward past your legs, like you're reaching for your mat beyond your feet. Five, four, three, two, one hands behind your head and lower one foot to the floor at a time. Well done. Hug your knees in and give them a little squeeze. Hopefully we're feeling nice and warm there through the whole body. Okay, rock and roll. Let's come up onto the hands and the knees. Okay, so you're going to start to lay down. You're going to lay onto the left side of your body. Left arm comes out nice and long. Head rests on your left hand. The left arm can come slightly forward in front if that feels better to have it on the diagonal. And then you're going to straighten through your left leg and place the right foot in front. The foot can be down with the knee up or the knee can also come straight down. Okay, we're going to start to lift and lower the bottom left leg. So a little inner thigh series. As you do this, I want you to place your right hand on top of your hip and then push the hip away from you so you find a gap underneath the left side of the waist here. And you can reach your right arm under to see if you can lift up off that left side of your waist. So we keep the pelvis really neutral. We keep the ribs quiet in at the front of the body. And I want you to lift from that bottom big toe, stretch it up and away as you lift and lower here. Nice. Shoulders slide away, top shoulder heavy. Okay, keep going, little lift, little lower, little lift, little lower. Okay, and then you just breathe in and out of the nose. <laughs> Find your composure as you feel that little inner thigh starting to fire up. Let's go 10, nine, eight, soft jaw, Six, five, four, keep it up in three, two, one. Hold it up and I want you to pulse up, 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 yeah? So as you can see, I'm not dropping the leg all the way down. I'm just lifting a little and then letting it drop just a centimeter. So I'm focusing on the up phase of the movement, yeah? Keep going. We've got 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Relax that bottom leg. So good. Okay, stack two legs now on top of one another. So we have this long line. Again, you might need to shift your bottom arm slightly on the diagonal 
draw the glutes under and think ribs to hips here at the front. Double leg lift here, so right hand can come in front of the body. Squeeze both the inner thighs and lift the legs in one piece and then lower them back to the floor. Pull the legs away as you lift and then away as you lower. So it's like your legs are getting longer out from your hip joint. Yeah, lift and then lower. As you do this, you also feel your top side of your waist working, the obliques working to lift the leg and lower. So it's a little side crunch in the top side of our body. Nice. Again, point the toes, stretch out through the thighs. You feel that bottom inner thigh again working here to lift and lower. Nice. Good, couple more here. Stay with it, shoulder down and back, that top shoulder, mine likes to creep up. <laughs> As I get, gets more intense in my body. Good, hold it up at the top. Top leg stays exactly where it is, bottom leg lowers and lifts. So little beats, again with the bottom leg, yeah? Shoot energy out through that top foot. Think the toes pointing out and away from the body. Little beat up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah, try to glue the top leg in space so it doesn't move. Just that bottom leg, trying to pull up towards it. Good, a couple more. Woo. Feeling it, love the inner thighs. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold at the top, can you squeeze the legs, lift them a little bit higher? and then relax. Well done. Bend your knees here in front of your body and just take a moment. Good. Okay, so we're gonna come into a tricep push-up. So your bottom arm now is gonna reach down towards your knee here. So stack the knees one on top of one another and then reach your bottom left arm towards that knee. Right hand's gonna come directly in front next to your right shoulder. So we're gonna use the right arm and tricep to push up. So you're gonna press, look at the right hand as you press up, and then slide and lower back down. So this bottom arm kind of slides away a little bit, and then you slide it back through to land. So we push up, and then we slide through. Head can stay looking down if that feels better at your right hand. You can turn to look towards the side of your room. But we're just using that right arm to push and lower. Push and lower. Good. Keep the sit bones moving back so there's this little natural curve in your lower back. But again, use that core stability so we can just isolate the movement happening in our arm rather than our spine kind of snaking all over the place. Good, how are we going? <laughs> Proud of you, keep going, couple more. And let's do three, two. Well done, push up, come onto both hands and both knees. Hallelujah, well done. Okay, let's just take a little cat cow. So pull the chest forward, breath in, and then round your spine, let the head go. One more, inhale, extend the spine, and exhale, spinal flexion. Okay, coming into a long spine, so skull, pelvis in one long line. Same alignment, draw ribs in, and pull the shoulder blades down the back. Extend the right leg up and back in line with your hip, and then bring it back underneath you, left side. So up in line with hip and then back underneath you. Keep going, alternating from right to left. And just notice if you're moving through the pelvis or the lower back, maybe don't take the leg as high. So you keep that length through your lower back. And again, that rib to hip connection at the front of the core. Okay, one more to the right. I'm going to add on in a moment. One more to the left. Okay, take the right leg back, now reach the left arm forward, bicep by the ear, and then lower hand and knee to mat. Left leg back, right arm forward, and hand and knee to mat. Good, so bird dog, alternating, opposite arm to leg. Nice, you might exhale to lift, inhale to lower. 
So we're challenging the core, the upper back a little bit more as we move the limbs away from the center of your body, adding more load on the center of the core. It's hard for us to balance and to keep everything really still in the center. So don't lift the limbs so high if you feel the pelvis and everything kind of wobbling out of its strong position. Good. Keep going, a couple more here. Feels like you're gliding. <laughs> nice, okay, right arm, left leg lifts. Lower, left arm, right leg lifts. And then left hand down, right leg is going to stay up. Yeah, you're gonna lean forward, keep the right leg up, one tricep push up, think chest down, and then push back up. Good, again. Tricep push up, chest down, and push back up. Good. Keep going. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale up. Max, keep going. So right leg stays kicking up and back, glute and hamstring on. Shoulders clip back as you lower. So the ribs pull towards the hips, so the core at the front is on. Let's do two. Last one, and push back up, knee down, take a cat cow around the spine, and pull the chest forward. Exhale, round. One forward on the inhale. Lovely, one more round. And forward breath in. Beautiful, so good. Okay, before we do the second side, let's come up onto kneeling here. We're gonna take thigh stretch. So place one hand to the front of your pelvis and the other hand to the back of your pelvis. I want you to scoop up through the front palm and wrap down and under through the back hand. So you have this strength through the glutes and this strength through your core. The aim is to keep head, shoulders, knees in one long line here. Start to lean back, hinge back as you bend at the knee and then push back to come upright. Inhale to lean back, grab the glutes. Exhale, squeeze the glutes and thighs to come back up. Two more like this. So you don't have to go too far. You already feel it in your core and your thighs here at the front. Shoulders squeeze back to open the chest. Okay, last one. Lean and hinge. And then come back. Now you can stay with this or lean back. Take an inhale, reach the arms forward. And then exhale, pull everything back to upright. Inhale, lean back, arms forward. And then exhale, push down through the fingers. Good, keep going. Exhale, push. Use that resistance through your arms, like you're pushing through thick water. Shoulder blades hard down, back of the body strong. Lean back, breath in. And exhale. Okay, we can add on. Inhale, lean back. Hold or exhale, reach the arms. Inhale, arms forward. Exhale, pull back. Yeah, so inhale, hold here or reach, exhale. Inhale, arms down. Exhale, push. Woo. Couple more. Inhale to lean. Stay or reach, exhale. Inhale, arms down. Exhale, upright. Let's do one more. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, reach up, pull down, and come back up. Okay, last one, <laughs> lean back, hold. We're going to pump the arms back, 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 like hundreds, but in our thigh stretch. So in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, and out. Good, so as you're doing this, Fingertips are pulling down, 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 and pumping back, back, back. So you squeeze the shoulder blades, wrap the glutes. If you're feeling it a little too much, just come up a little higher. If you want more, go back a little bit further, like halfway, and out. In, you can do it, out. I'm burning with you, almost there. Last one. Push, two, three, four, five, and come back up. Oh my lordy. <laughs> come onto hands and knees. Well done. And we're gonna switch all the way around 
and come onto our back for a little bit more of our ab series. Well done. <laughs> Proud of you all. So, this is where you're going to grab your prop. Block, container, or Pilates chibol, yeah, whatever works better for you. You're going to grab the block between your hands and roll down onto your spine with the block or the chibol between your arms. Okay. Really simple to begin. Squeeze the prop between your arms. You feel the pec switch on. Take a breath in. And then tabletop the legs. Exhale, lift the knees above the hips. We're going to do a single leg stretch. So take an inhale. As you exhale, you curl and lift. Reach the block past the left leg as you extend the right leg all the way out and down. Inhale, return the knee and the head and shoulders to the floor. Exhale, left leg kicks long. Reach the block and try to tap your shin on top of the right thigh. Return, breath in. Exhale, pull. Return, inhale. Again, think that rib to your hip and reach, 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 reach through your arms and through the prop. Squeeze the prop, you know, so pecs stay on. And just alternate from side to side. Good, so you can stay with this action, yeah? Keeping the block forward and reaching towards your shin. Otherwise, curl and lift, hold at the top, and then reach the arms back past your ears. Pull back up towards your front leg, and then return the knee and the head to the floor. Exhale to lift, extend one leg. Inhale, hold, or reach the arms past the ears. Exhale, lift a little higher, crunch block forward, and then inhale, return the head and the knee. Good, exhale, extend one leg. Hold or inhale, reach back. Exhale, come back, and inhale, bend the knee, return the head. Good, exhale, lift, extend one leg. Inhale, arms reach, 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 reach. Exhale, curl, lift a little higher, and then return, breath in. Couple more. Exhale. Well done. Inhale. Squeeze that glute that you can feel on the floor, yeah? So as you extend the leg, engage the glute. The lower you take your straight leg, the more load on your core. So I'll let you decide how low you're going to take that leg and load up your core, yeah? Almost forgot what I was doing there. <laughs> Too much talking, right? Okay, let's do two more. Good. Stay or reach. Curl and lift higher. And then bend the knee, come back in. Last one. Extend. Stay or reach. Curl and lift higher. And then return. Well done. Lower your feet. Take a breather and just let the block rest on your belly here. Take a moment. Well done, we're not done. We've got one more little final ab doozy. Okay, so no prop required, but a little bit of fun, a bit of coordination if you're using your prop here. Yeah? Otherwise, you can imagine you're passing something. So just have a little look. We're going to curl and lift up into our table. Oh, my apologies, you're going to lift all the way up onto your sit bones. Yes, yeah, so we're going to start seated like this. Lean back into a, um, onto the back of your pelvis. Scoop the belly in and squeeze the shoulder blades together. We're going to float the legs up here in line with the kneecaps. Point the toes and reach out through the feet. You're going to take the block underneath your right leg as you kick your left leg out. Pass it into your left hand and then come back and bend the left knee. Pass the block under the left leg as you kick your right leg out and pass it into the right hand. So you come through and pass the block under and under. Good. So you can stay a little bit higher, stay more upright here. If you want to, you can start to go a little bit lower. The lower you go, a little bit harder on the core. Or you can go from low to high. <laughs> And then you start to cycle your legs, passing the block. Remember, you can come back onto your spine and do our previous variation 
of the extension of the legs if this one feels a little bit too much for you today. And then you get the flow, passing, 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 maybe going up, down, up, down. Good, 10 more seconds. Woo. Good for your brain and your body. Good, three, keep going, two, and one, sit up, well done. And wrap your arms around the front of your legs. Just pull your chest forward, long spine, take a nice breath in. Let the belly soften. <sighs> really good. Okay, second side of our side line. So get rid of your prop. This time lay on your right side and lengthen out through your right arm. Again, you can place it slightly forward. Bottom leg long, top foot steps over, knee can be down or foot can be on the floor if this is more comfortable for you, no worries. Let's start to lift and lower the bottom leg. Again, top hand, take it to your top hip and push it away so that you lift up underneath this right side of your obliques here, underneath the body. So there's a little kind of gap where you can slide your hand. This just ensures that the pelvis is more neutral and we're working equally through both sides of the spine. And imagine I've got your big toe, you're pulling and pointing the big toe out away from the body. And this is nice, we get to lay on the side of the body. I always think that people must look at me and go, oh, this looks easy. And then they do it and then they know actually really hard. We're just isolating that movement here in the inner thigh while stabilizing our whole trunk. Good, couple more. Let's get that little fire in our leg. Starting to wake up that whole inner seam right up into the inner groin all the way to the inner knee and, and the big toe. Okay, hold it up at the top and little pulses up, 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 up. This is where it starts to really get there. And straighten the kneecap, engage through your quad, point the toes and think of the up in the movement. Keep going up, 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 up. Top hand to hip, lengthen, push it away. Good, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold and then relax. Good, two straight legs. Let's get it done. Left hand in front of the body, push the top hip away, little gap underneath the right side waist. Lift both the legs and lower. Now if you're directly on your bottom hip, you can just slightly roll the top hip forward a little bit and then you'll move just onto the meaty part of your quad or the outer part of your thigh rather than being directly on that bottom hip bone. Otherwise, you can place a pillow or a towel, something thin underneath you for a little bit more cushion. Stretch through the feet and the toes, think kneecaps lift, thighs long and engaged. And then you'll feel that top left side of your waist also working to lift and lower your legs. A little down, a little up. Let's keep going. Squeeze the inner seams of your legs together. Good. Couple more here. Two more. Last one. Hold at the top. Top leg stays frozen. Bottom leg beats up and down. So little tiny beats with that bottom leg. Try to get the toes to kind of click every time you re-lift that bottom foot to the top foot. Just notice if you're rocking and rolling around, maybe use the front hand to support you or just smaller movements, yeah, not so big. Yes, love it. Let's get long through those inner legs, strong through our inner thighs. Up, 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 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold and squeeze, lift, lift, lift and relax, so good. Bend your knees in front, stack the knees on top of one another, left hand in front of your body, right hand slides down towards the knees here. So right arm under, left hand in front, push up, little tricep, 
and then lower. Push up, and then lower. Good, so you can look down, or you can look to the side, whatever feels better for your neck. But really lean over into this left hand. So you kind of want to minimize the work that that bottom arm is doing. So you might even kind of hover it a little bit off the floor to see how much you're relying upon the bottom arm to help you come up. And it's okay if you are using it. It's quite hard to just use one arm to push yourself off the floor. A couple more. Just a good gauge though. When you do this again, you might notice a little less in that bottom arm and more strength in your working arm, your left tricep. Last two. Last one, stay up and flip around onto hands and knees. Good, let's straight into our alternating bird dog. So left leg back, right arm up, and then we're gonna alternate from side to side. So this is a good one to strengthen the back of the body, upper back, hamstring, glute. And it's nice to just work this kind of free-flowing movement. We're going to add in a little tricep push-up in a moment. Let's do three more of these. Two. Last one. Come back down, lift the left leg and the right arm up and then lower the right hand down to the floor. Kick out from the left toes, pull the chest forward, tricep push up, and then straighten the arms. So you don't have to touch the chest to the floor. You can just bend just a little bit and then push back up. Usually what will happen is the belly will collapse and the ribs will flare. So draw the ribs in so that we keep that length through the spine. One whole piece, lowering down and pushing back up. Left leg really strong, point the toes. Last three. Push up, last two. Push up, last one. Push up, land the knee and cat cow. Move your spine here. So good. Take a little rinse out, forward and back. Really good. Okay, nice job. Alrighty. So you're gonna come into one more thigh stretch, yeah? Finish it off, why not? So you're gonna come back up onto your knees. Love this one, so good for lengthening the quads but also strengthening them as you can feel. I don't need to tell you this. Okay, so we're gonna come back again. Start with hand, one at the front, one at the back. So you wrap the glutes, scoop through the front of the body. Lean back. And then lift back up. Just two more. We know this action. Lean back. We're just getting that posture reset. And come back up. Last one. Lean back. And come back up. Okay, we add on. Lean back. Reach the arms. Breath in. Exhale. Pull back up. Just two more like this. Inhale. Reach. And exhale. Pull back up. Last one. Inhale. Reach. And exhale. Pull back up. Good. Inhale. Reach. And then you're going to take your left hand down towards your heel, reach your right arm up on the diagonal, and then come all the way back up, arms stay high. Lean back, right arm back to your heel, left arm up on the diagonal, and then push to come back up. So doing this little diagonal reach, the left hand down, the right arm up, and then come back up. Inhale, right hand down, left arm up, open the chest to the right, and then exhale, push both arms forward. Inhale, reach back, open the chest. Exhale, push back forward. Good, inhale, open up, lean back. Exhale, back to forward. So you're gonna alternate here, open the chest, little rotation throughout upper back. If this gets too much, just come back to our first variation of the thigh stretch of the hinge, yeah? Exhale. Inhale, open on the diagonal. Exhale, come back up. Two more. Reach. Reach through your fingers. Come back up. Reach. Come back up. Good. Come down. Genie your arms. Stack one on top of the other. And then rotate from left to right. Left to right. 
So thoracic spine, or we'll call this the thoracic rinser. Rinse your thoracic, so upper back moving around, glutes stay active, ribs pull in, let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and all the way up. Well done. Come down onto your belly, please. Take your forearms out in front. Just pick up your legs and stretch them back behind you. Little sphinx pose. So elbows forward in front of shoulders. Pull elbows back like the chest forward. Feel the tip of the shoulders peel behind the ears. Take a big breath in. And out. Good, inhale, peel forward, stretch the belly, shoot the thighs back. And exhale. Good, you're gonna stay here. We'll start to walk the hands a little bit wider to the corners of your mat. Start to lift the elbows any amount and press them up into our seal. So we're gonna lower the elbows and then lift and squeeze the armpits down. Lower and lift. So a little extension if it's too much. Take your hands further away from you and then lower and lift, yeah? So the upper back isn't so high off the floor. If you want more, creep the hands a little closer. The pubic bone stays pressing down and forward. The glutes stay active. So this is beautiful for our posture just to open up through our chest. <sighs> little lift, little lower. Little lift and little lower. Good, one more. And then lower down. You're going to take your hands underneath your forehead. And then you're going to bend your knees, turn them out into a diamond. And like we did in our glute bridge earlier, you're going to clap the feet together and have a diamond in your legs. Forehead is on the ground. Pubic bone anchors glutes wrap right under. Squeeze the feet together to lift the knees and the thighs. And then lower them to the floor. Squeeze the feet to lift and lower. You might take your fingers right at the base of your glutes, where your knicker line would be, and then feel that pinching and wrapping down. So you're lifting right at the base of the glute, and then lower. Head is relaxed. Squeeze and lift, and lower. Good, let's just do five. Nice, four, three, good. Two, nice, and one. Hold at the top for three. Push the feet together for two. Little squeeze, lift higher, and relax. One, well done. Just shimmy your pelvis out across the floor. So good. Okay, come back up onto your forearms. Last little fun thing, just a stretch and a strengthener. So take the right forearm in front, Bend your left knee and squeeze your heel to the butt, and then reach around and catch a hold of your left ankle. Again, pull the right shoulder blade down. Start to gently kick the left foot back into your hand as you peel the chest forward. So the left side of the chest wraps forward towards your right hand. Take a big breath in, and then exhale, lower left leg, left forearm. Left forearm in front, squeeze right heel to the glute, Reach around and catch a hold of your right ankle. Pull the left shoulder blade down. Kick the right leg back. Pubic bone down. Chest pulls forward. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Release. Okay, welcome to keep alternating from side to side. If you'd like a little bit more, you can start to press off the right elbow as you kick back. Breath in. And then exhale, lower everything to the floor. Yeah, left side, let's just do that one. Grab right ankle, maybe press off the left elbow, breath in. And then exhale to lower. Keep with this, or last one, you're gonna bend both the knees, squeeze heels towards your butt. Reach around, grab a hold of your feet, take a big breath in and start to kick your feet back up into your hands. Keep the chin in, gaze forward over the cheekbones, and you might rock a little forward and back. Think, push the feet back in towards your hands. <laughs> Three, otherwise keep alternating from side to side. Two, 
and one. Slowly lower everything to the floor, hands under your forehead. Keep the knees bent and just let the feet windscreen wiper from left to right. Well done, everyone. Okay, lengthen your legs back behind you. Press up onto hands and knees. And then let's take spinal flexion. So press the floor away, tuck the chin in, round your spine, really open up through the whole back body. You might shimmy your pelvis a little bit from left to right to lengthen through the back muscles. And then find a downward facing dog. Let your knees take your hips up and back. Let the top of the thighs press up and back and down dog, really lengthen through the hamstrings. Push the floor away, take a big full breath in and a full breath out. Good. Walk your hands back towards your feet to so come to forward fold over the back of the legs. Grab the elbows, let the spine hang. Mm. And then roll up to stand. Slowly peeling the spine back up. Just come to stand in the center of your mat. Take your feet nice and wide apart. Reach the arms out wide. Then take a side bend. Left hand slides down. Reach the right arm up and over. Big breath in. And a full breath out. Good. Push the right hand down. Come back up. Left arm up. Inhale. Side bend down towards the right. Stretch those obliques all the way through the side of the hip. Nice, come back to centre, hands on your hips, bend the right knee, start to take the pelvis back and down, and then bring your hands underneath your shoulders. So we're getting into the inner groin, now you can stay quite high in a high lunge, if it feels comfortable for you to pivot the toes out, you might lift onto the ball of the right foot and start to lower, no worries, just keep the knees tracking out rather than rolling in and the spine is long. Otherwise, you can stay high and even turn the left toes up. Maybe take a little pulse here back with the hips to just lengthen through the inner thighs. And come through center and simply change sides. Bend into the left knee, stay, maybe turn the right foot up, the toes up. Maybe lower the pelvis, just keep the knees opening wide away from centre. Good, come back, nice wide legged forward fold, toes point forward, heels directly back. You can take an interlace with your hands at your lower back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, feel the legs activate, kneecaps lift, and head heavy. Take a nice big breath in. And out, and then release your hands down to the floor, chin to chest, roll up through your spine, one vertebra at a time. And then heel toe your feet together. And you're done. Amazing job. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope you got a nice good sweat up, um, and we'll see you really soon.